What is up guys, Jesse504 here, bringing you some LC gameplay this time. So, I decided to go with a webs team for today. Starting out with Dewpider, with that Focus Sash, Water Bubble ability, Sticky Web, Liquidation, Magic Coat, Leech Life. I feel like it's mostly here to set webs, but in the right lead situation, Magic Coat can be really tricky to pull out sometimes. Just starting off with that nice Magic Coat. And like bouncing back the hazard or whatever they do to get me momentum. And up next, I figured I'd grab one of my favorite little cup boys, Pawniard, with that Eviolite, with that defiant ability, meaning that like they really don't want to do anything to hurt us. Like they don't want to do webs, they don't want to do like parting shot off a of Litten or something. Knock off Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Poison Jab is kind of an all around set. Knock off is one of the best moves in Little Cup. Iron Head for Steel Stab, Sucker Punch for priority. And then Poison Jab. And up next, uh, Scarf Farfetched. So, often this thing is going to be my lead or Dewpider. Um, it just comes in and it hits hard. Knock off, Close Combat, Leaf Blade, Poison Jab. Just there to just like hit really hard off of that 95 base attack stat. 16 speed means that like Scarf 24 is really good. Um, oh yeah, just a quick note. In Little Cup, EVs are weird because everything starts at like level 5, so you can see I like, try to put this 16 points in the HP, but it wouldn't do anything. So that's why the EV spreads are all kind of weird. And up next, we got Q-Fant with that Life Orb, Sheer Force ability, Iron Head Play Rough, Zen Head Butt Stealth Rock, just like a kind of all-around bulky set. Really good to hit Life Orb, Sheer Force means I'm not taking damage. Then 18 attacks is really good. 11 speed isn't that fast, but like, oh hey, could use some more EVs. Up next, Sinisty. I meant to do that, so I thought this thing could shell smash, but it couldn't apparently, so. Endure, Shadow Ball, Store Power, Giga Drain, so this is some speed control. I don't really need Store Power anymore either, I can just go Psychic normal. Giga Drain, this thing just gives me... A nice, solid, fast special mod, because this team is really lacking on them. And up next, I just had to grab him, Darumaka. Berry Juice in Little Cup is a phenomenal item. It just fully heals you. Hustle. Live and die. Belly Drum, Fire Punch, Zen Head, but U-Turn. Just kind of there to come in, hit hard. And like with that Berry Juice, um, Berry Juice Belly Drum means that I'll be at full. This thing is one of the best sweepers under webs. 18 attack. At plus 6 is like way up there. It's like close to 80 attack. Which is really strong at level 5. And then we live and die by the hustle as opposed to inner focus. But let's use our webs team. This team is really built around the web. And so like if we don't have the webs up, the Darumaka, mostly Darumaka and Qfan are there to benefit from the webs. Ponyard has the priority to get around it. Sinisty has the Endure plus Weak Armor, and then Farfetch is holding the Scarf. So there's ways to play if we don't have webs up, or if our opponent also decides to get webs up. But it's not the most ideal. Alright. So their team, Krabby, is one of the... It's like, might be the hardest physical attacker in Little Cup, I don't really remember. Oh, Glaring Farfetch again. Mudbray, Drillbur... Oddish and Poplio. Oddish is just going to be there to annoy me with hazards. Or not with hazards, with status. Well, let's just go ahead and start the timer. Um, I think that Dewpider kind of has a lot of versatility in this match. I'm going to go ahead and lead Farfetch'd. Because I, I might want to save my Dewpider for later. As I lead Krabby, this is just an easy Leaf Blade for me. And then they go into their own Galarian Farfetch'd. This point, I don't really know what to do. I'm just going to go do Piter. They go for Brave Bird. Alright. That's kind of annoying. It means we won't be getting our webs up unless they want to do something tricky. They just go for Leaf Blade. So they are not Scarf, which means that I'll be faster than them. And then I'll just go back into my own Farfetch'd. And I'm just going to click Close Combat. Nothing really wants to take this. They go Mudbray. Like, that's gone now, pretty much. 
Even with that, oh, it has berry juice. All right, we can go synesty on this mud ray. EQ, weak armor up, and then we can just Giga Drain, get most of our health back. Unfortunately, we are going to go down here, but mud is weakened up, softened up at this point. Nothing really wants to take a leaf blade except for the Oddish, but if they go Oddish, then it still takes a lot of damage. And then we can just go pivot from there probably into Q fan, just start hitting hard basically. This team is very offensive. It's not really that defense. Like it doesn't have like Mud Bray, it doesn't have Pharaoh's, it doesn't have like So they do go Oddish, making that nice play. Quad resisted. I'm gonna go Darumaka. I don't really care about it as much this game. Yep. So they go sleep powder and I believe there's sleep claws in the little cup. Yeah. Okay. So now we can go into our pawn yard. See what they want to do. They just go strength sap. So that'll actually give us attack because that defiant. And then we can pretty freely just knock off as they go drillber. Which just dies. Then they go poplio. Doesn't know the fairy typing yet. We should just be able to knock it off again. Let's go pawn yard putting in work. They go Galarian Farfetch'd, I think we speed tie, I don't really want to chance it, I'm just going to sucker. Ah, now they go CC. Alright, now nothing takes a knockoff from, actually, Mudbray. Cool. Stamina. And a knockoff again. They go Oddish. I'll go Q-Fan because I have that Zen headbutt. They do strength saps, so they just try to take my attack. Fair enough. All Zen headbutt. Still pick up the KO. And then that thing is weakened and I'm scarfed, so yeah. They go CC. I was going to my own far fetched. They are not scarfed, I am, so I was going for my own CC. Good game. So that game, just the pawn yard kind of took over in the middle. Let's go again. That was a solid game one. Let's get into a nice game two. Ah, here's Diglett. I don't know if I can... Yeah. Arena Trap's kind of annoying. It is 20 speed as well. Volibee, Growlithe, Chincho, Meowth is fast as well. And then Duskull. So this is going to be a game. It's really important to get webs up. So I think that's just going to be the first thing I do. They are probably just going to fake me out here. I want to save that. Yep. Made the right play. I'm just going to... I don't really know what they do here. I'm just going to endure. So they go for that. Yeah, I don't really see much use for... Sinisty this game. Which is why... On this Meowth, it's not that bulky. I just can Psychic. They go Faint to try to break that Protect. We get that Spadef drop. Um, we can just Psychic again, actually. I think Giga Drain is the safer play if they do decide to switch. Boom. Give us some HP back. Now we can start clicking more Shadow Balls. Here they go, Diglett. I'm gonna endure. That thing has a sucker. I'm gonna Giga. Oh, there it goes. They do get that sucker. I was contemplating whether or not to do another endure, even though it would have failed. They wouldn't have been able to sucker me. So I'm going to set webs here. Perfectly understanding that. Once the webs are up, the Diglett becomes much less of a threat because it's no longer the fast thing. I don't know exactly what they're going to do with Duskull. I'm just going to Magic Coat. Pull out some tech. Willow wouldn't have affected me anyways. But now their Duskull is Willowed. Which is... The tech. 
with that magic coat. Do good damage. Now it's gonna taunt me. I don't really know what exactly this thing does to Dark Mock. I'm ready to set up and sweep. Shadow Sneak. Alright. Here I just go Belly Drum. The Shadow Sneak again. We'll Belly Drum up. Go all the way back to full. And at this point, I can Fire Punch and hopefully I don't miss, which I don't. Nice. Now they go Chin Chow. Drops the speed the Zen Headbutt should be able to drop this thing. Ah! Sucks, I missed. They missed Hydra Pump too. So, great turn. They go Vullaby. Alright. If they are max speed Vullaby, it does outspeed. But, if they're not, it is dead. So that's the power of the Flame and Hot Poop Darumaka. Boom. They're Sash. Like I thought they would be. They EQ, drop my Darumaka. But at this point, the damage is done. Farfetch can just come in here and just start clicking close combats. And there's nothing that he can really do about that. So let's see what they do. Nothing here really lives a close combat or two. But like, once they do. Like, Diglett's gone, and then I get to heavily dent the Growlithe or the Chinchow. I don't think that this thing uh, c dies to close combat, but it'll do a heavy chunk right there. Oh, it just does, just dies. Alright. So, we pick up those nice two wins with this Little Cup Webs team. So, any comments, what formats you want to see, I'm open to do anything. But, other than that, Jesse504, out.